Hi everyone, William Weiser is here. I know I said that on my last message video, you're not going to get any more message videos until the fall of this year. Because today is my 25th birthday, I thought that I would want to do my own message video and talk about what I did earlier this summer, these past nine days, and what's going to happen next month. First off, as you just saw, today is exactly 11 years since I got the UK Booba Magic DVD for my 14th birthday, and I watched it for the Booba episode, A Pile of Balls, which is one of my favorite episodes. And in March of 2015, I found out that there is an extremely rare and promotional Booba A Pile of Balls VHS. And much like the extremely rare and promotional Blue's Clues Snack Time VHS, it only contains that one episode, A Pile of Balls. Which does make me kind of wish that that episode was on a UK... Okay, it is on a UK DVD. It makes me wish that it's on a, on a US Booba DVD. Except for the fact that I made up a U.S. Booba DVD with that episode in it. The wonderful Wobbly Dance, along with Desert Island, A Big Bag, and Snowballs. Uh, if that DVD existed, it would give me a fun time to watch. And even with that being just made up, it's still one of my favorite episodes. And it's a memory for my birthday that I will never forget. So... Let's get started. Number one. A tribute to my grandma. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about what happened to her in early September of last year and late June of this year. Instead, I'm going to talk about some video memories that I have of her. Like, I remember watching... The Rugrats Discover America VHS, which, no joke, was my very first Rugrats VHS. And it's fun to watch. The episodes in this are Discover America, The Jungle, Journey to the Center of the Basement, and Fairy Play. And Fairy is spelled with an E instead of a Y, because poor literacy is for people who can't spell fairy. But, again, still a fun tape. This one is my favorite, or was my favorite, Rugrats VHS ever to watch at that house. A Rugrats Passover. Because this one was the most fun that I had watching. And it's the episode that has that running gag of, Don't close the door. Being used up to four times. Because the door upstairs in the attic doesn't open from the inside. And the fourth time that this happens is my favorite. Because I can tell from Drew's facial expression that he's about to get mad. Or is about to get mad or angry with Charlotte about this. But she doesn't know that the door doesn't open from the inside. Still, <laughs> still that running gag is my favorite part of this episode, and it contains the Passover episode and a bonus episode on this VHS, Toys in the Attic. Still in the same material, and a Rugrats Hanukkah, which is a holiday that I celebrate every year, but not with the Rugrats, because this just isn't my thing. The episodes on it are the Hanukkah episode and a bonus episode, Moving Away. And even that episode doesn't doesn't fix anything in terms of of my problems with that. And she also has a Winnie the Pooh VHS, Learning, Sharing, and Caring. The episodes on this are Lights Out, The Rats Who Came to Dinner, and No Rabbits of Fortress. And there's some other videos that she had. Like, I know she had a Joe Scruggs VHS and some sort of... Uh, Sesame Street or the Muppets knockoff of 
WOF and more Hebrew or Jewish thing. Now, there are two videos that I remember Grandma having, and and I'm and I got these videos for my birthday today as a tribute. The first one, let's play another Blue's Clues Thinking Time segment. So, we're trying to figure out what Blue's Clues video am I getting for my birthday this year. Our clues are Little Bear, Stephen Marley, and Science and Geography. So, what Blue's Clues VHS am I getting this year with Little Bear, Stephen Marley, and Signs and Geography. Hmm. Well, one of the opening trailers for this might have something to do with Little Bear, which is my scariest eight seconds ever, the Little Bear movie teaser trailer. And then you follow that up with Stephen Marley as they talk about American Sign Language, and... The first one is followed by signs, then another American Sign Language short, and then geography, and then one more American Sign Language short, or maybe maybe these three are put in order. But if you have all three but if you have all three of them together, then what blue school speeches am I getting this year? All kinds of signs. Yes, that's it. I got Blue's Clues all kinds of signs for my birthday this year. And again, I'm getting this as a tribute because I remember watching this a lot at her house. The episodes on this are Signs and Geography. And you have the Stephen Marley Learn American Sign Language shorts, which are green and orange, animal books, and thank you for helping me. But before that, you have the Little Bear Movie teaser trailer. And I can't wait to rip off that band-aid on Childhood Fierce this season. And here's the tape. And the second VHS that I'm, that I'm getting is also in tribute. Barney Sensational Day. I'm getting this because, because I watched it a lot at that house. And, <clears throat> and it's about using your five senses. And... And some things I remember about this VHS other than senses are Did You Hear That? and Captain Pickle Saves the Day. As either Rick or I pointed out, the advantage that this special has over Barney's Great Adventure the movie is that Barney and BJ are on screen and getting ready to watch Captain Pickle Saves the Day while in Barney's Great Adventure, all you... While in Barney's Great Adventure, all you're going to get is their audio. And to me, that's just unfair. And Baby Bop, who's not in this special, uh, if she sees this, she might have one thing to say to BJ about that. You win this round, BJ. And here's the tape. Now, sometimes I not only watch the veils that she has... I also bring some of my videos along to bring over to her house. Like, like my favorite VHS that I would always bring to Grandma's house, Winnie the Pooh, There's No Camp Like Home, which features There's No Camp Like Home, Balloonatics, and Paw in Order, because it's awesome. And, and has three fun episodes in it. Oh, and I also brought along the other uh, New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh volumes one time. I also watched Teletubbies Big Hug there one time. Dragon Tales We Can Solve It Together. And Drake and Josh Suddenly Brothers Volume 1. My Canadian copy of this tape. And I had fun watching both Pilot and Doom Buggy over there. Uh, Teletubbies Big Hug contains two TV events, Looking for Rabbits and The Very Proud Crown. And the sh and uh, We Can Solve It Together has The Shape of Things to Come, 
Puzzlewood, and Very Berry. Now, before I wrap up these videos that I'm talking about, last year and this year, I got two DreamWorks movies for my birthdays. Last year, I got Mouse Hunt on VHS, and this year, I have The Road to El Dorado on VHS. And, and while the one thing that caught my dad's attention about this was Elton John did a lot of songs and music for this. The one thing that caught my attention was this character right here named Tulio, voiced by Kevin Klein. When I first saw the way that he was drawn, and I first saw this on a sort of Disney or DreamWorks uh, music video, which the song for that one is a cover of the Big Time Rush song, Any Kind of Guy. I thought the way Tulio was drawn here, I thought he looked more like a Disney hand-drawn character. But as it turns out, no, it's a DreamWorks hand-drawn character. And that explains my confusion about Tulio. And I did not have this confusion problem with Miguel because he looks like a DreamWorks hand-drawn character. But it's just Tulio that, that caused me to have this confusion. So, those are all the videos that I want to talk about. And when we come back from this break, I will talk about things number two and three. See you then.